Morgan joins us live tonight. TJ, it's a move many again are calling shady. Mika Rick, the tactic in question is called gut and replace. Lawmakers making adjustments to a bill that's already passed one chamber before it reaches another. There's a bill that was introduced in January, passed the House in March, and it didn't address coronavirus, but now all of a sudden... House Bill 2502 was introduced by Representative John Mizuno, designed to assure adequate staffing for new hospitals. Making sure that if there's going to be a new health facility, that it, it makes sense to put it in that specific area. The House passed that bill, but it's been rewritten by the Senate's Commerce, Consumer Protection, and Health Committee, and all of a sudden it's a bill about COVID-19. The bill did take a complete turn, and now it's for the safe reopening of Hawaii. Roughly 40 people protested. Bill HB 2502, Senate Draft 1, gives the Department of Health Director authority to implement restrictions and policies whenever he deems it necessary to protect health and public safety. Right now, that power is reserved for the governor. Department of Health role constitutionally is to advise our elected officials and the elected officials are supposed to be making these decisions but this bill will give the Department of Health all of that decision making and that's just flat out wrong. And now that the bill's been gutted and replaced in the legislative process, its original author isn't in favor of it. It seems to give too much power or broad powers to the Director of Health. I, I don't know if that's the route we want to take, so that's something I think we need to discuss. The bill also allocates money for traveler testing, something Mizuno does support. And it's, um, for me, a life or death situation. I just don't have the answer to a loved one that their mom, dad, husband, wife, or grandma, grandpa passed away because of COVID-19 when we could have picked it up and protected them at the airports through screening. The bill is scheduled to face a Senate hearing tomorrow at 9.30 in the morning. There's